let's start with a new topic T flip flops so before going on through the data or the theory what is written on the screen I'll just explain you the truth table and how the tree flip flop work plus in this topic we'll also study the characteristic table the excitation table and the excitation equation of the T flip flop this is the basic diagram of the T flip flop that is when 0 is given to J the output is 0 similarly when 1 is given to J the output is 1 and vice versa so when the output Q0 Q is equal to 0 Q bar will be 1 and vice versa when Q is equal to 1 Q bar will be 0 let's work out how this T flip flop works the circuit diagram let's start with the circuit diagram or the block diagram of T flip flop let's say this is the input one end will be given J the other end will be given K we are working with the T flip flop which is corresponding to JK flip flop that is since T flip flop has only one end will be taking two ends that is J and K flip flop so here we will study T flip flop in terms of JK flip flop so it has two outputs Q Q bar this one input will be J and the other input will be given to K so if the input is 0 that is when the input is given 0 both J and K will be 0 so output will be Q which will be directly hold memory or the previous value so for ha to have a better understanding let's have a truth table for JK flip flop truth table for JK so that we can derive the truth table for T also let's have 0 J K 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 okay so output will be this when we have 0 0 the truth table says the output Q will be Q which is hold memory 0 1 will be 0 1 0 will be 1 1 1 will be Q bar that is the toggle mode toggle mode so this is the truth table for JK flip-flop so we'll study correspondingly the truth table of T flip-flops how we derive so let's take the input as T and the output as Q sorry the Q plus this is T so if one input is 0 that is J and K let initial stage be or let initial outputs will be 0 since Q is equal to 0 its initial stage therefore Q bar will be 1 so one output for T is 0 that is in this case if we give 0 here both J and K will be 0 so if J and K will be 0 from the truth table of J K flip flop we can see J 0 K 0 the output is Q that is hold memory or the previous value so here also 0 that is J 0 K 0 we get the hold memory that is the initial output initially we have assumed here Q is equal to 0 so we write here as output is 0 ok now let's take the next step that is next output is 1 1 ok that is here J will be 1 K will be 1 so correspondingly we take from the truth table of JK flip-flop when J is 1 K is 1 the output will be Q bar or the toggle mode that is if the past value is 0 or that is if the current value is 0 when both J and K are the inputs which have 1 1 then the current value will toggle of the past value that is for example in this case if we have given here 1 that is J1 K1 so the output will be Q bar Q bar that is 1 or else it is the 
complement of the past value here the past value or the initial value was 0 so the output will be the complement that is q bar which is 1 so we can write down here as when t is 1 when t is 1 output will be 1 so this is the truth table write down we can write it down as truth table for t flip flop this is the truth table for t flip flop okay now let's move on further to find out the characteristic table let's recall what the characteristic table is characteristic table is the table which has one input as the input of the corresponding flip-flop the other input is the Q and the final output will be the next stage in short we can say that characteristic table is the table which contains the inputs, the current value of the output and the past value of the output. This is called as a characteristic table. Let's check out. The characteristic table is derived from the truth table. So the characteristic table includes T, the input, Q, the current output and Q plus which is the, pa the next output the next stage output so let's take on the different values of t and q 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so we can compare the truth table when t is 0 that is when t is 0 q plus is 0 so we write down here as 0 when t is 1 again when t is 0 q plus will again be 1 that is in short we can write here as q and q bar okay so when t is 0 q plus will be q which will be 1 when t is 1 we can see from the truth table q plus will be q bar that is q, q here is 0 so q plus will be q bar which is 1 when t is 1 q plus will be q bar which is again 0 so this is the characteristic table now next stage is to find out the characteristic equation to find out characteristic equation okay so to find out the characteristic equation we draw the k map of this q plus so which will be let's say t q 0 1 0 1 which will be q bar q this will be t bar and this will be t so the output here q plus is high for first value and second value so we can write it down as let's rename or let's number the columns which is 0 1 2 3 okay we can check out the output is high for first and second that is first second so we can write the high values for column number one cell number one and cell number two for zeroth and third it is low so we write it down here as zero so we find the final equation the final equation as per the k map is this is one group this is other group as per the rule of k map we all know we cannot make this group this one will be invalid as we are allowed to make the group either in this way or in this way but not these are the correct method but this way or this way is wrong that is we cannot make the diagonal way so we write down the final equation or the characteristic equation will be t bar q plus t q bar t bar q plus t q bar is the final characteristic equation 